celebrating the 4th of July with a music festival in Arlington Heights. That was how some people spent the day. 27 First News reporter Noah Daniels Wilder went down there to see how it's an effort to unite the neighborhood. Community is the word you'll hear in Arlington Heights Park on the 4th of July. It's the reason people from all across the city show up to the music festival. Just wrapping up its fourth year. I've been coming out here for four years straight since 2014 when they first started. The fourth annual Youngstown Music Festival kicked off today in Arlington Heights Park, where people from all sides of town could come for fellowship and fun. Everybody from north side, south side, west side, east side, Furrow, Sharon, Newcastle, they all come down here to support. They only come down here to support the kids. Chris, being a father himself, feels showing his kids support from their own community helps them in the long run. And for the 25-year-old organizer of the festival, Lester Scott, hearing people from the community appreciating what he does keeps his fuel going. So many people come up and tell us how nice of the event it was. And you know, I don't do it for the praise, but it does go a long way towards tooling up and coming back again next year. The event also helps parents spend more quality time with their children. Not only do they have bouncy houses and food for the kids, but they have a basketball tournament as well. What we do, we usually have eight teams. Uh, it's $1,000 to the first place winner. Uh, winner take all, you know, it's uh, basically in a spirit of competition, friendly competition. With cars parked everywhere just to come support, this reassures Scott he's doing the right thing. You know, it means a lot to us, you know, especially, but I think the community to tell you it means a lot to them as well. This is helping the community because it's bringing everybody together. The last four episodes here, has no been no violence, no fighting, no drama, no none of that. Scott tells me he plans to continue this event every year and hopes it continues to grow. Live in the studio, I'm Noah Daniels-Wilder, WKBN 27 First News.